Welcome back to the channel, it's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction, and today we're going to be starting Season 4 of The Big Bang Theory. Woo! We are officially a quarter of the way done with the show, which is kind of bittersweet, because I love the show, but I'm also like, I don't want to finish it. <laughs> but, it's so addicting to watch. So, honestly, I'm not even going to lie, I don't really remember where the heck we left off, so I'm probably going to have to watch the the whole what's it called the the recap i think they do that um and if they don't i mean i'll pick it up pretty quickly i'm i i watch too many things for me to keep up at this point <laughs> but if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the big bang theory on my patreon go ahead and look for the link down the description of this video okay thank you guys so much for joining me and now it's time to sit back relax and watch tv show together let's continue the big bang theory Chicken? <laughs> really? We're not we're not doing a recap? Pork. Gentlemen, our entire dinner unpacked by robot. <laughs> and it only took 28 minutes. Wow. Impressive, but we must be cautious. Tomorrow it travels back in time and tries to kill Sarah Connor. Oh my god. I don't think that's gonna happen, Sheldon. No one ever does. That's why it happens. <laughs> Food here? Ooh, what's that? Seriously? <laughs> How's work? Oh, not bad. Kind of hungry. Yeah, we all are. Just <laughs> wait. We'll one day make unskilled food servers such as yourself obsolete. Oh my god. Really? They're gonna make a robot that spits on your hamburger? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you broke up with her. Why is she here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Sheldon took that on a whole personal level. That was great. Yeah, at best, it's a modest leap forward from the basic technology that gave us Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> Where? How did that Sheldon? correlate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. No. Wrong. Wrong Peace. thing. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> This was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started way Amy's at the dry cleaners and she's made a very amusing pun. <clears throat> I don't care for perchloroethylene and I don't like glycol ether. Oh, ether. Got it. No, I get what I get what's happening here. L-O-L. Who's <laughs> Amy? His girlfriend. Sheldon has a girlfriend? She's not my Literally. girlfriend. Literally. How long has this been going? Four months. She's not my girlfriend. Are you telling me for the past Then what months, are you? I've been asking you what's new and you never thought to go with Sheldon has a girlfriend? Oh, Sheldon and Amy. Or as we call them, Shamey. <laughs> Shamey. I am so digging the Shamey. Oh. That's actually pretty funny. Can everyone pay attention. Yeah. Yes, she is female. Yes, we communicate on a daily basis, but no, she is not my girlfriend. Well, then what is what she? What do you communicate about? And most recently, the possibility of our having a child together. Well, there you go. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. You never see this girl. You just At email four months? and Twitter. Now you're considering having a baby? Amy pointed out that between the two of us, our genetic material has the potential of producing the first in a line of intellectually superior benign overlords to guide humanity to a brighter tomorrow. Okay, great. You don't even like people touching you. How are you going to have sex? Oh my Why God. On earth would we have sex? How are we going to have oh, a baby? Honey, did your mom not have the talk with you, you know, when you're private parts started growing uh, consequently if amy and i choose to bring new life into this world it will be accomplished clinically with fertility yeah. experts in a lab with petri dishes that's where i thought he was going with that one broad hips and a certain corn-fed vigor is your womb available for rental oh my god still digging the shamey you mean dating yeah yeah you can't date amy why not She's not my girlfriend. Okay, look, don't think of it as dating a girlfriend. Think of it as um, getting to know the future mother of your child. Oh. Oh. I hadn't considered that. Penny. Penny. You do realize I stand on the other side of the door waiting for you to finish knocking three times. 
I yeah, but he's explained why he does it. Under the door. Decided to take your advice and have arranged to go on a date with Amy Farrah Fowler. Oh, that's oh, great. Yeah. Have fun. G no, wait. You have to drive me. What? You know I don't drive. <laughs> Having been raised in a Christian household, I'm uncomfortable with the language he used. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not entirely comfortable with cockamamie. <laughs> Okay, fine. When's the date? Now. Now? <laughs> Hurry, we're going to be late. <laughs> oh, God, that feels so good. What is happening? <sighs> yeah, that's the spot. Oh, baby. Yeah, keep your hands above that desk. Oh, yeah, just like a real hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> You're gonna rip it off. <laughs> Thank you for driving me. You're welcome. I wish you weren't wearing flip-flops. I just don't want to be yet another flip-flop fatality. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Given your community college education, I encourage you to ask me as many as possible. Oh my god. Is this your first date? That yes. depends. Does square dancing with my sister at a Teens for Jesus 4th of July hoedown count as a date? No. No. I have a master's degree and two doctorates. The things I should know, I do know. <laughs> my point is, I know more about dating than you. And if you were a smart... Sheldon really just comes out of the cannon with all these, like, ziggers. <laughs> you know, there's something I've always wondered about Aquaman. Yeah? Where does he poop? <laughs> what? What did a toilet look like in Atlantis? Why are you making me How think about this? Oh, and I don't need to it? picture Jason Momoa doing Where that. Hold that thought. <laughs> hey, Howard, what's going on? Oh, no. Hold on, Howard. Howard, slow down. The robot hand is stuck on your what? <laughs> Why did he do it? I specifically said don't do it, and he doesn't listen. Really? You had to drive Amy, too? Sheldon tells me you're a neuro... something or other? Neurobiologist. Your check engine light is on. Yeah, that's always been on. Yeah, it's okay. But the light indicates... Don't bother. I've wasted many an hour tilting at that particular windmill. <laughs> yeah. Well, your hair looks very nice. Are you a homosexual? My God. No, I was just giving you a compliment. Hmm. Would have been more flattered if you were a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Sheldon 2.0. We got Amy and Sheldon being the same exact personality type, and I don't know if I can mentally handle that much stimulus. Have you told Amy what it was like for you growing up in Texas? No. <laughs> well, why don't you tell her? All right. It was hell. <laughs> <laughs> Any follow-up, Amy? I myself grew up in Nebraska. Small town outside of Omaha. You know, a nice place, mostly family farms, a few meth labs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like your brother? How is this better than uncomfortable silence? I don't know. I was just trying something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You slipped and fell into a robot hand. Yes. <laughs> Penis first. A robot hand's got a death grip on your junk, dude. That's funny. Ask anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before my mother walks in, get this off me. Okay, let's see. I loaded the wrong program. The hand thinks it's holding a screwdriver in outer space. If you continue the program, it's going to start twisting. Oh, God. Oh, all, all right. Um, oh, how about this? Got his head stuck in the honey tree. His friends all grabbed onto him and pulled and pulled. Well, that's... You do what you want, I'm not touching another man's honey tree. <laughs> All right, uh, forget an electric saw and cut it off. What? No saws! One circumcision was enough. No, 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 I think he meant for the hand, but okay. How about an acetylene torch? Howard, I made cookies for you and your little friend! Oh, God, here we go. That's great, Mom, thanks! I'll bring them up with some Hawaiian puns! Don't come no. up here! Oh, yes, God. but that's not the point. <laughs> she went to the date, too? Hey, here's a 
another possible topic of conversation. This is a big night for Sheldon. Right, Sheldon? <laughs> does this guy have two That's drinks and so does she? Point. They're both milk? Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, no, my point is, uh, tonight is Sheldon's first official date. Uh, apparently, a semi-incestuous Teens for Jesus 4th of July hoedown didn't count. <laughs> much? Once a year. It's a deal I made with my mother in exchange for her silence on the matter. What about you, Penny? Do you go on many dates? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say many. A few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Characterization of approximately 171 different men is a few. What? Postulate an initial dating age of 15. Oh, wait, my wait, wait, God. Wait, do not start dating at 15. I'm sorry, 16? 14. Oh, that was My the wrong mistake. direction now, to go in, but okay. The side of a bell to 193 men. Oh my God. Plus or minus eight men. Remarkable. Did you have sexual intercourse with all of these men? No. No, although that number would be fairly easy oh. to calculate. I think you've made your point. So we multiply 193 at minus 21 men. <laughs> Here we go. He's going to drag so her. This is bad. 172 times 0.18 gives us 30.96 sexual partners. Let's That's not bad. Okay. Body count shaming is not a good thing, okay? It does not matter what your body count is, okay? Everybody should know that. Cultural perceptions are subjective. Penny, to your mind, are you a slut? No. <laughs> no! No! No. <laughs> She's questioning it. She's it not, though. She's not. Does volunteering for a scientific experiment in which orgasm was achieved by electronically stimulating the pleasure centers of the brain count? Yes. Because, I should wow. Think so. Then 128. My heart just stopped. Okay. Oh my god, they brought the freaking robot to the hospital. Don't tug, no tugging. Next time, take your own advice. <laughs> Excuse me, could you? Is this? It's a robot arm. Where's the rest of the robot? I only built the arm. Because that's all you needed, right? <laughs> <laughs> she right, got, she right, understood it. Stay calm. <laughs> I need an orderly with a wheelchair. I got a robot hand grasping a man's penis out here. <laughs> Did you try turning it off and back on again? No, you see, it's more complicated than that. No, wait! <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is out of the honey tree. <laughs> <laughs> now can we have cookies in the land punch? <laughs> this was a very productive evening. I saw a whole new side of Amy Farrah Fowler tonight. I did not have sex with 31 guys. Oh, God. I feel much more confident proceeding to the next stage of our relationship. And that is? using in vitro fertilization and a surrogate uterus to gift humanity with our progeny. That is not how that works. That? Well, it is, but I mean relationships. Times, you can't just rush that. Sheldon, if you try to make a baby with Amy in a Petri dish, I'm going to tell your mother on you. Well, that's no threat. My mother's always wanted a grandchild. Deeply religious, born-again Christian mother wants a test tube grandbaby born out of wedlock? Oh. <laughs> Curses. He didn't think about that. <laughs> I thought of that in the first place, I could have saved myself this whole night. Well, it's not that late. You could still go out and look for number 32. Oh my god. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey, Howard, what's up? Slow down, what do you mean it happened he, again? Did he do it again? <sighs> Working on a new plan to catch the roadrunner? <laughs> <laughs> the implication being that I am Wiley Coyote? Yes. Yes. It's that will ultimately backfire and cause me physical injury? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing here, my family history factoring in longevity, propensity for disease, etc. Interesting. Cause of death for Uncle Carl was KBB. What's KBB? 
killed by badger. Oh my God. <laughs> Uncle Carl said, I think there's a badger living in our chimney. Hand me that flashlight. Oh no. <laughs> Those were the last words he ever spoke to us. <laughs> Instead of fleeing, he chose to fight barehanded against a brother. How do you lose the against the badger? Who's to say that I don't share that flawed DNA? You can always get a badger and find out. <laughs> In all seriousness, I am not an animal killer as far as that goes. I don't even hunt. But if you're going to fight a badger, would you not at least bring a knife with you? Like, how stupid can you be? Like, and then on top of that, how big was this badger? How did it kill him? Like, I need to understand this. When man will be able to transfer his consciousness into machines and achieve immortality. Oh my god. So you're upset about missing out on becoming some sort of freakish self-aware robot. <laughs> By this much? The unified field theory, cold fusion, the dogopus. The what? What's a dogopus? A hybrid dog and octopus. Man's Why do you want that? Friend. Why do you want that? Is it a dog with like octopus body or is it a octopus with a dog head? Like, or is it a dog with eight hands? A dog with eight paws. <laughs> Never mind, I got it. Oh, you wanted me to pay. It's, it's no big deal. No, 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 you're right. We're not going out anymore. I should pay for myself. Oh. <laughs> Sheldon, six bucks. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not eating pizza tonight. But it's Thursday. Oh. Thursday's pizza night. Not for me. Thursday is now cruciferous vegetable night. Why? Tonight's selection, Brussels sprouts. Oh, God. It's a small price to pay. For what? No, no, don't. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> In order to live long enough to fuse my consciousness with cybernetics, I need to change my diet. Wait, cybernetics is robot stuff, right? Correct. Planning to begin an exercise regimen designed to strengthen my cardiovascular system, a.k.a. jogging. Okay, honey, have you ever run before? Certainly. I've run from bullies, yep. dogs, <laughs> angry chickens. Oh my God. Determined to bend me over and give me a scoliosis test. What? You're right. Penny jogs. Maybe you guys can run together. That's an excellent idea. Raj is going to get and killed. If we chat. <laughs> is he from his car with high powered binoculars? Oh, oh my, my God. God. That's so yeah, Raj, don't do that. And Howard. <laughs> and he says he's not going to stop. Yeah, but then see a shrink and figure out how to talk to women. <laughs> Come again? I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right abdomen. I'm oh my god. I'm and feverish. I believe I may have cholera. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Botulism, a 30-foot tapeworm, or accidental ingestion of chrysanthemum blossoms. He just say 30-foot tapeworm. you accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossoms? Have I had your appendix out? I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the time? Oh my. Let's get you to the hospital. So this is how it ends. <laughs> With cruel irony. Just as hey, I, I had last year, body. literally last year, I had a gallbladder issue and it felt exactly like this. So I know Sheldon's pain right now and I'm feeling ghost pains right now and I don't like it. <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh my god. Penny. 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 Coming. Coming. Hey. Nice knees. Where's your heart rate monitor? I don't have one. What about your pedometer? Don't have one. Do you have telematics in your shoes connected to an iPod? Uh, no. What, what, what do you do? You just go out there and gamble about like a bunny? Yes. No. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Uh, it's it's stretching. Your muscles before you run. All right. All right, let's uh, start with a toe touch. He can't do that. <laughs> Maybe he does have scoliosis. I've been reading up on biomechanics. I, I think you'll be surprised if I do ah! oh! oh my god. Oh my god, are you okay? I think so. <sighs> Let me help you up. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Thursday is no longer cruciferous vegetable night. <laughs> Here's my chicken curry. Howard, your shrimp biryani. Thank you, sir. All right, Paneer. That's Penny. Thanks. What am I up to now? Well, okay. Uh, with 18. the Indian food, the pizza, the Thai food, the tank oh. of gas, the frozen yogurt, and your rent. Uh, <laughs> a little over $1,400. It's not free. I'm going to pay him back. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Sheldon, are you going to join us? Coming. Oh, no. What is he wearing? What is happening? Is that an iPad that he used? Greetings, friends. <laughs> Greetings, whatever the hell you are. <laughs> mobile virtual presence device. I shall remain in a secure location and interact with the world in this manner. Really? That's your question? When did he put a ramp in? You know, I was wondering that too, actually. You're in my spot. <laughs> Over time, you'll grow accustomed to dealing with me in this configuration. Yeah, to be honest, I don't see much difference. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was going for. You'll need to allow some extra time to get me down the stairs. For your convenience, I disassemble into four pieces. Oh, my. I'm coming to talk to you. You don't know where I am. He's in his bedroom. You're in your bedroom. No, I'm not. I can hear your voice coming from your bedroom. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Wait. Come back. Sheldon, this is ridiculous. I'm behind you. Please look at me when you're talking to me. I am looking at you. No, you're not. Pay no attention to that man in the bed. <laughs> you cannot exist as a virtual presence. From my intellect to a more durable container, my body will remain safely ensconced in my bed. Fine. But don't expect my help. You have to help. It's in the roommate agreement. No, it's not. He's gonna pull it up. Oh my god. Section 74 C. It's obligations and duties of the parties in the event one of them becomes a robot. I'll be damned. <laughs> This is why he should have paid attention to all of it when he was doing it. <laughs> this is delightful. Uh... Oh my god. You seem tense. <laughs> yeah, don't say. Perhaps this will relax you. Oh no. What is that, Danish? Is that the Danish? Enhanced capabilities. We're like Knight Rider. No. <laughs> Except the Knight Rider, the car isn't a yammering sphincter. Oh my god. <laughs> you mock the sphincter. There are over 50 different sphincters <laughs> in the human body. He's still giving them lessons, even as a robot, and he's got pictures and everything. Using Photoshop, I've introduced a few anachronisms. See if you can spot all 24. Oh my god. The first one. Madam Curie should not be wearing a digital watch. That's it. Bye -bye. <laughs> oh my god, he turned him off. Can he do that? Bazinga. <laughs> oh my god. I have an override switch. I almost died. And I'm safe and sound in bed. Who's crazy now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Professor Hoskins. Oh my god. Nice to see you, Mindy. Konnichiwa, Dr. Nakamura. Leonard, my door. What about it? Be a lamb and open it for me. No. Why? What's the problem? <laughs> oh, look. It's Leonard and R2D bag. <laughs> That's my joke. I told it last night. You can't just use it. Raj, be a lamb and open the door for me. I'm a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> oh Isn't my god. Nice? No. The pleasures of fellowship and camaraderie without having to tolerate your germy breath on my skin. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll be your waitress. Why are you introducing yourself? I'd rather people not know I have any prior connection to you whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me the specials this evening? Sheldon, I'm not waiting on you. 
Obviously, I don't even have water yet. <laughs> Manager? Manager? Oh my god. Oh lord. Look who it is. Is that Steve Wozniak? I think it is. The great Who's that? powerful Woz. You know, there's an olive garden down the street. You guys should try it sometime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wozniak? Oh, hey. Nice virtual presence device. Thank you. I just want to say I'm a big fan. It's still six spots above Steve Jobs. <laughs> I care neither for turtlenecks nor showmanship. Oh, my. I never got that turtleneck thing. One of my proudest possessions is a vintage 1977 Apple II. You know, if you had it here, I'd autograph it for you. Don't move for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how the buses are running. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds. Oh my god. I'm coming, Waz. I'm no, coming. he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. Aww. I'm gonna go with A, it broke. Why are you in your pajamas on this thing? <laughs> How are you gonna knock? Penny. Penny. <laughs> I can't get out of bed. I hurt my ankle. What do you want me to do? Sing me Soft Kitty. <laughs> really? You want me to sing Soft Kitty to a computer monitor? Yes. Happy Kitty, sleepy No. Kitty. Oh, he you wants you to start, start it over. <laughs> soft Kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Kitty, what the hell? I'm ready for my next question. Uh-oh. In a world where rhinoceroses are domesticated pets, who wins the Second World War? Oh, my God. Uganda. Defense. Well, it wouldn't be us. Kenya rises to power on the export of rhinoceroses. When war breaks out, no one can afford the luxury of a rhino. Kenya withers, Uganda triumphs. Got it. <laughs> Correct. My turn. <laughs> Scott Joplin play the maple leaf rag. Tuned bayonets. Defend. Isn't it obvious? Duh. You're right, my apologies. <laughs> it's called counterfactuals. We postulate an alternate world that differs from ours in one key aspect and then pose questions to each other. It's fun for ages 8 to 80. Join us. In a world where mankind is ruled by a giant intelligent beaver, what food what? is no longer consumed? Uh, a BLT where the B stands for beaver? <laughs> Leonard, be serious. We're playing a game here. <clears throat> I can figure this out. Let's see. Um, well, Wood? beavers eat tree bark. The only tree bark I know that humans consume is... In a world ruled by a giant beaver, mankind builds many dams to please the beaver overlord. The low-lying city of Copenhagen is flooded, Thousands die. Devastated, the Danes never invent their namesake pastry. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I was thinking too inside the box. Yes, you should have been here for the great Jenga tantrum of 2008. <laughs> <laughs> you bumped the table and you know it. <laughs> He's still mad about it. I'm going to my room. Very good, Leonard. But next time, don't tell us where you're hiding. <laughs> Did you guys see the paper in the American Physics Journal on super solids? Don't ruin it for me, man. I printed out a PDF to read on the potty. Oh, oh my god. What are you, five? <laughs> potty, what do you call it? Toilet. Uh, you all remember Amy Farrah Fowler? Sure, nice nice hello. See Sorry we're late. I must take responsibility. I had to stop for feminine hygiene supplies. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. I believe she's experiencing her menzies. In order to avoid surprises, I wear them all the time. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Toilet sounding pretty good now, huh? Is that a thing that women do? Like, it, I don't know, obviously. So is that something, is that something that you girls do? Alrighty, what's new? Well, just recently I learned that you refer to us as shamey, and I don't like that. <laughs> I got it, but what I was going for was, you know, how's your life? 
like everybody else's, subject to entropy, decay, and eventual death. Oh my god. One has to navigate a labyrinth of social nonsense before one can be fed here. Really? I assumed an establishment called the Cheesecake Factory would function more efficiently. Tell us about your work, Amy. I doubt you'd understand. Sheldon tells me you only have a master's degree. Oh my god. Raj, you're up. <laughs> they can't function without me. I'm the social glue that holds this little group together. What? No. You're welcome. <laughs> Although, for the record, on one occasion, she licked her thumb to remove raspberry jelly from the corner of my mouth. It's an action we both regret <laughs> to this day. Uh -huh. Amy is judgmental, sanctimonious, and frankly, just obnoxious. Just like you. Just like, just like Sheldon. So, so we already have you for all that. <laughs> that for eight long months, I suffered in silence as your female companion filled our apartment with her off-key country music caterwauling. The you know, he's got a point here. Grinding a pumice stone against her cat's oh my God. feet in our living room. Suffered in silence? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'd thank you to do the same. Real silence? Yeah. Nothing makes beer taste better than cool, clear Rocky Mountain spring water. <laughs> Where are the Rocky Mountains anyway? Philadelphia. <laughs> really, I thought they were out west someplace. I'm very comfortable here. Penny dear, why don't you shoot another silver bullet my way? No. Get one yourself. Ooh, somebody's been taking bitchy pills. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to start entertaining the possibility that the shamey could go on for years. Well, if that's the case, Penny will have to get satellite TV and maybe once a week run a vacuum through this place. Oh my god. Kind of, sort of, had a... Well, I didn't agree with him. Well, you defended me, right? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. He made a fairly well-reasoned argument. <laughs> No, trust me. No. I do this oh for my mom. Oh my. See? With the grain. Wow, that is better. <laughs> I assume by never again, you mean never again will you drink all Penny's beer, then run down to the gas station for a couple of 40s, a box of Slim Jims, and the latest issue of Bombay Badonkadonks. Oh my god. You did all that in one night? You showed us your Bollywood breakdancing skills. That's very offensive. I mean... Yeah, we all thought so. <laughs> I brought Amy here to show her some of the work I'm doing. It's very impressive for theoretical work. Oh. Do I detect a hint of condescension? Compared to the real world applications of neurobiology, theoretical physics is what's the word I'm looking for? Oh. Cute. oh. This Are is you bad. Suggesting the work of a neurobiologist like Babinski could ever rise to the significance of a physicist like Clark Maxwell or Dirac? This is how you destroy a friendship. You just let them do it themselves. My colleagues and I are mapping the neurological substrates that subserve global information processing, which is required for all cognitive reasoning, including scientific inquiry, making my research ipso facto prior in the Ordo Cognoscendi. That oh means my. it's better than his research, and by extension, of course, yours. Yes, but if I'm successful, I will be able oh to God. map and reproduce your thought processes in deriving a grand unified theory, and therefore subsume your conclusions under my paradigm. That's the this is so psychologism. Watched by Gottlob Frege in the 1890s. His veins are popping out of his neck. He's mad about we this. We appear to have reached an impasse. The motion carries. Good day, Amy Farrah Fowler. Good day, Sheldon Cooper. Oh my god. Is this okay? Women, huh? <laughs> Can't successfully refute their hypotheses. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to know what the heck Howard did to ruin Bernadette's relationship with him. Because I, where'd she go? We haven't seen anything. She was a girl who was my friend, who is now a girl who is not my friend. You terminated a relationship, as you said. Well, you breakups or whatever the hell this is, you, it can be tough. 
Penny, I assure you, I'm fine. Yeah, my relationship with Amy was purely intellectual. There were no emotional bonds, the severing of which would cause me any discomfort. The relationship simply outlived its utility, and now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to buy a pussy cap. A what? No, wait. I like a regular... Okay. I'm a little worried about Sheldon. Uh oh. A little worried about Sheldon. Worried about Sheldon someday setting off a low yield nuclear device because the cafeteria ran out of lime jello. <laughs> <laughs> what does hit a reef mean? Uh, when splits fill. Button? Turn to boom boom. We got a cat to keep him company. Oh, the God. Kid. Takes it everywhere. To bed, to the bath. I mean, when the guy's theme song is literally soft kitty, warm kitty, you gotta imagine he's gonna buy a cat at some point. <laughs> Oh no. Gentlemen. Oh, hey. Aren't you gonna introduce us to your little friend? Oh, my apologies, Raj, Howard. I'd like you to meet Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. Okay, I get it. We're worried about Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> There's a difference between having a pet and having an unhealthy obsession. Oh my god! This is Enrico Fermi, Richard Feynman, Edward Teller, Otto Frisch. Zazzles. <laughs> Zazzles. I was going to name him Herman von Helmholtz, but he's so zazzy. <laughs> you're clearly upset about Amy being gone and you're trying to replace her with a bunch of... How is he feeding all of them? Point is, you need to face up to what you're feeling with this breakup. It wasn't a breakup. A breakup would imply that okay, Amy was my girlfriend. Okay, I got it, I got it. She's not your girlfriend. Now, listen to me. I know about loneliness built a bunch of model rockets. I got those weightlifting gloves and that, that five pound dumbbell. You didn't break up. She dumped you. She didn't dump me. It was mutual. I was there. She dumped you. Okay, uh, fine. <laughs> That's not exactly how that went, like but Nancy. still. Who's in the mood for fancy feast? Oh. Well, that's not fancy at all. <laughs> it went all over his shirt too. When you said on the phone he broke up with a girl, you meant an actual girl, not something you kids whipped up in a lab. Yes. No, she's real. Did they sin? I don't know what it's like. But there's <laughs> something I should prepare you for. Oh, relax, Leonard. I have raised that boy. I have seen him at his best. Oh, I've no. Seen him at his How many worst. cats there's does he have now? There's nothing he can do that'll surprise me. Ben. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Surprise. How many are there? Oh, what an unexpected pleasure. My, my, that's a powerful smell. Wise cop. Yeah, I get it. You got a lot of cats and you gave them cute <laughs> Jewish names. Oh my God. What are you doing here? Leonard called. He said that you were pining for a young lady. Cats make wonderful companions. They don't argue or question my intellectual authority. And this little guy here, I think you'll find to be quite Zazzy. <laughs> Shelly, dinner's ready. Coming. No cats. <laughs> oh. What is she doing? As a neurobiologist, I was curious. Well, rest assured, I am in full possession of my faculties. 25 cats. Oh my God, 25? God bless you, dear. The reason I called Amy over was to find out what type of person she is. And after chatting a bit, I have to say that while she is a perfectly unique young woman, <laughs> you two are definitely not suited for each other. By any standard, Amy is more similar to me than anyone I've ever met. That's probably I'm part of the problem. Shelley, I can't see it. Well, whether you see it or not is irrelevant. I can't see subatomic particles, but nevertheless, they're... Oh, there. she's doing reverse psychology. I can see it. Good thing that you two decided to end the relationship so I didn't have to end it for you. Amy, after consideration, I believe we may have acted rashly. I propose we resume our relationship and attempt to resolve our differences. I feel like that 80% of our difficulties were caused by you. I'll go as high as 40. 65. Done. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that moving forward, we deal with the fact that my mother does not approve of me. I'm being cast in the role of bad girl, oddly titillating. <laughs> oh my god. Would you like to see my cats? I would. I love cats. They're the epitome of indifference. Zazzle's a little cloying. <laughs> 
See, I know she did there. Yep, hey, reverse psychology. Such a smarty pants, he's no different from any man. You tell him not to do something, that's all they want to do. Now don't you move. I'll bring over all the food. No, no, no. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh my god, you're selling up for twenty dollars? Here's your cat. And here's your twenty dollars. Oh. Next. And here's your twenty dollars. Why are we giving people Next. money and the cats? I'm confused. All right, well that was part one of season four for the Big Bang Theory. Gotta say it wasn't really that funny. I'm not gonna lie. That last episode and maybe the one with him being a robot was pretty funny. But other than that, like, eh, it was. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just it wasn't as it wasn't as crazy as the other episodes usually are but I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not saying that i'm disliking it or anything i'm still enjoying the show so i can't wait to continue this journey but i knew she was doing that reverse psychology there at the end because that's just typical it's it makes sense how do you confuse the smartest man in the world make him think that he made the right decision by telling him he didn't see see what they did there <laughs> but if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the big bang wow if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.